Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome back to Yellow Bus Guy Garage. And uh, let me see, today is the fifth day of school. We've been back to school five days, and the freight liner's broken already. It's got, it's developed a huge oil leak. Every time you park it, it leaves a or stop somewhere, it leaves a pizza sized spot of oil on the ground. So I just got to go to the shop, get that fixed. In the meantime, we're on a 2005. Now, this is a little bit unusual. This, this is the first time I've driven one of these. And uh, as you can see, the uh, dash layout, basically the outside of the bus, the hood design, the interior design, everything is just like the 2010. The uh, instrument cluster is very similar, slightly different. Uh, gauge diameters are a little bit bigger. And in this bus, you have two air gauges. They can show you both sides of the air, uh, air system. Because, you know, it's split. They split the air system so that, you know, if you blow a line, it won't completely drain the entire system. It'll, it'll only affect half of it, so you don't lose all your air pressure. It's a safety thing. On the 10, they're at one gauge with two needles. But anyway, here you have two gauges. shows both sides of the air system. And, uh, let me see. Let's see what... There we go. And you see it's got many, 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 many warning lights. And there the, the gauges are awake there. You got your voltage, fuel gauge, speedometer, odometer's down there in the LED. And uh, let me see what functions do we have here. Got trip meter, hours. Let's see, 10,345 hours. Let's see, that's trip hours. Huh, I don't understand that. Oh, it's got a miles per gallon reading, and it's actual, so while you're driving, it's not a, a cumulative thing. And 100, almost 187,000 miles. And this one is, uh, has a, uh, one of the early versions of the uh, Power Stroke in it. I believe I believe it's the VT 365 I think and uh, it's smooth it's relatively quiet and it's lame it makes no power although it's it's uh it's better than the Frightliner that's for sure but this one uh, this one's a little leisurely on acceleration you see you got the radio in the typical place same radio this one actually has a cup holder which is nice instrument panel or the switch panel is similar though door switch is in a different place you know things are rearranged but it's it's very similar to the 10 and it has the storage compartment here that we're all used to temperature gauges if you're uh, fresh air recirculate you have driver or passenger selection here and hot and cold and it actually works all these things work on this bus which is amazing most time they're broken and uh, got the the switch here is for the the hot air blow system and what that does it just takes hot air from inside the bus and blows it on you and believe it or not like yesterday it was the heat index was over 100 degrees that actually felt good uh, you got some empty panels here for stereo if you wanted to it has a five speed automatic your uh, park brake is in the usual place um, some genius put the uh, microphone hanger right here and it's right where your knee is so just lay the microphone up there and keep it out of the way and it's got the typical blue interior that we're used to although it's in it's in decent shape it really is it's in decent shape floors in good condition the seats are nice the driver's seats in decent condition this bus hasn't been abused yeah it runs well it's got good brakes transmission shifts like it should and uh Tomorrow we'll take a closer look. We'll take a look underneath the hood and give you guys a look at that. Maybe one of you guys out there can identify the engine by looking at it because I'm not that familiar with it. And uh, But this is uh, one of the buses that's slated to be replaced. The twos, the threes, the fours, and the fives are all supposed to be going away. And this is one of the, the fours and the fives are uh, the buses that we had so much issue with and that my district actually sued International because they're so unreliable. I mean, these engines were just grenade, 
and where they've been swapping Cummins into them. They, they take these engines out when they when they become un unrepairable, and they put a Cummins in it. But I think they're they're done with these buses. I think they're gonna probably wholesale them, keep the better ones for subs, and get rid of the other ones. So anyway, it's a decent driver. And uh, like I said, tomorrow we'll take a look under the hood and see what we got there. And in the meantime, guys, be safe. Thanks for coming around. Thanks for your patience. And I will talk to you later. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure.